reincarnated as a damn Bluetooth speaker. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And was pretty much telling Itadori and Mei Mei everything that happened. Since Gojo is that overpowered, Mekumaru's plan was, don't care about nothing else, we gotta get Gojo back. I'm sitting here like, damn, is every other sorcerer that trash? To where we gotta drop everything? That's what it seems like. Freeing Gojo out the pen? Well, anyway, like, they can't Mekumaru win without Gojo. Gojo. Go Avengers. So he ran up on top of a building yelling out to his homeboys. Bombo now, right after this, we see these niggas talking about whether or not they should murk Itadori or not. See, Jugo wants to revive Sukuna and bring back the Age of Curses, while Mahito wants to murk Itadori because he believes that Gojo being sealed, they can win now. If I had to pick a side, I'm choosing Mahito, bro. What I look like reviving Sukuna? He don't care if you're a curse or a human. Yeah, look at he the just... wrong way and he'll fuck around and boom you. He I'm just kill all of y'all. Now back to Itadori. He's he not on your side. Megami in the squad. Nanami ended up doing his own thing while the other three go figure out how to get rid of this veil. So they figured out that the source of this veil would be somewhere that stands out. They snatched them niggas up, chucked them into the air. Either Dory saw that this guy was holding the last two screws needed to lift the veil. What does he do? He traps him in the wires, jumps off at least a 40 foot building. He saves himself but lets the other dude fall. Granted, he didn't die from that impact, but there was no way either Dory would knew he would survive. He tried to put that nigga six feet under. So Megami was like, alright nigga, stop the cap and get up. So he gets up, <laughs> breaks the wires, and either Dory comes through with a gut punch. But he was like, let me give you a few more for good measure. And the dog wanted to get a few licks in too weave but this dude must have forgot what show he was in this is jjk the show that doesn't give anybody the faith of a one-on-one -on -one. never he forgot megami's about the action too not gonna lie old dude got it bad these combos seem a little too coordinated to be classified as only jumping <laughs> either door is a damn near professional at this he's gotta at least have his jumping badge on gold this is when old dude pulls out the poke and slice either dory but that don't mean shit he tried to slice him again yeah either dory do not care about pain <laughs> Megami came through with the assist, had his frog grab him and slam him into the building, and all that just for him to be completely fine. So mid battle, we get this flashback of their lives. Long story short, but when the news came out that Gojo was born with the six eyes, Gojo immediately had a bounty of a hundred mil on his head. <laughs> Obviously, with the job they had, that type of money just to mark a kid, anybody would take that off, right? Not at all. As a child, this nigga was filled with pure ignorance. Gojo dead ass stopped just to press them. And these niggas were shook. This nigga was born to have the whole world in check. This nigga was born in creative mode. His mom said, up, up, down, down, left, right, X squared. This nigga was not born by normal means. Bro was a cheat code. This nigga was born jailbroken. This nigga was born the admin of the server. This nigga was born and had his ops hiding in the shadows. Bro was out here moving like Batman, but worse. Fuck the bat signal. These niggas saw his birth certificate and said, Hell nah, I'm not living a life of crime. Finna go get me a nine to five and call it a day. After telling his story, he must have gotten the Zenkai boost, knocked the shit out of either Dory. Weave Megami's attack. He threw a kick, Megami blocked, then grabbed his leg. He then hit Odu full force with the butt of his sword, but he said, Finger looking good and simply ate that. He broke out of his hold and started slashing. Bro, where his shoes at? He him with a direct hit. I guess he acted for seconds because he ate that shit too. This is when Megami figured out his technique so he spawned a village of rabbits to jump the old dude so old dude's technique is called inverse which basically means the stronger the attack the less damage you do but it can't be too weak or it would do literally nothing so you gotta hit him with a both a weak and a strong attack at the same time so Megami gets rid of the village of rabbits and comes down falling from the sky with a fat ass elephant oh, old dude's man doing summoning that shit, that's when either door strong ass just casually chucks a damn car at this nigga he caught that shit too threw it up and that's when Megami came from the top ropes but it got blocked that's when either Dory and Megan me spun the block at the same time, making old dude think you trying to one tap him, but they really just pump fake that nigga. And that blood wasn't from a punch, it was from a frog's tongue. Now it was GG's, bro. They activate a jump that nigga take over. Bitch, ho, get your early ass back. Get the fuck back, dirt neck. Stupid ass. It was. My he man. Ho, man. Old dude was not going. <laughs> they is beating the shit out of this old man. <laughs> Even though he's the bad guy, but he beat the shit out of him. <laughs> they had to jump the man. They get to that one of them couldn't fight him. He just beating the shit out of him. Let that slide. Kaioken! But it's crazy, he really thought he can do something against Jump That Nigga Takeover. Itadori's behind him, ready to take this nigga off the map. The black they both flashed this man. But this dude, Itadori, stopped mid punch. How do you stop mid punch? punch nah bro this is straight disrespectful bro is stuck staring at a knuckle sandwich hit that nigga so hard they had to give him six different angles 
But the JJK jumping wasn't the only thing crazy about this episode. We gotta talk about the fight between Homeboy with the Shiesty and his nigga rocking the Mohawk in 2023. So bro with the Shiesty has the ability to manifest the powers of four different beasts, but only when covering his face, which is a weird <laughs> requirement for an ability. Wait, but anyways, what? bro with the Mohawk is doing he everything has to cover his, his face power to activate protect his, his power. Like, he was low-key getting his fade ran this whole time. We from that hook, hit that nigga with a spin kick. Bro came rushing in and socked him straight in the gut. This really seems like a one-sided fight. Well, that's until Granny finished her spell, and Mohawk ate a capsule of flesh, I believe. The same attack that Shicey threw at him before, this nigga barehanded that shit. I was like, oh damn, he must have gotten a little power boost or something, right? I was wrong. He got more than a little power boost. He turns around, and this nigga is transforming into Toji. Oh, I don't yep. know if this means he has the same level of power the real Toji had. This could really change a lot of things for the show. He's getting ready to attack, but he gets speed blitz and he got a shiesty took. He turned around and greeted him with a knuckle sandwich, grabbed him by the collar and... Damn, bro. He was getting hit with the one-handed combos. Bro's out here moving like future Gohan. Nah, bro. This shit not fair. This nigga turned into Toji, bro. And the fact that we gotta wait till next week for the next episode and see what happens, bro... This is why I hate watching anime week by week. <laughs> ah, the daily life of getting jumped in JJK. <laughs> the boys is no fair ones. It's no one on ones. You jump everybody, curse or not. You just jump them. <laughs> you just jump everybody. I right, was a good video. Uh, make sure you go subscribe to him. Uh, his name is. Uh, I am Kevin. Make sure you go check out his channel and. Uh, like and subscribe and be on the lookout for the next video and we'll see you guys in the next one.